Hi, I'd just like to show you um, the kind of floor that I like to use. Um, and at this time of the year, as we go into winter, there's not so much to do with the bees. So it's quite nice to have a little winter project, a bit of woodwork or whatever. I'm actually um, a bit rubbish at woodwork. So if I can do this, anyone can. Um, one thing I did notice actually was as I um, got into beekeeping, um, I mean, I could build a computer, but um, just about barely change a light bulb um, and certainly not do woodwork. Um, uh, becoming a beekeeper kind of forced me to uh, get a garden shed, um, my man cave, um, and get some power tools, which are always good fun, and, and start to make stuff. It's just, um, it just seems to happen. I mean, you, you look at the things that are for sale and then you think, hey, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bit expensive and it's kind of a bit crap, so um, why not make your own? Um, and anyway, as I say, bugger all to do in the winter, really. So, so this is my um, prototype underfloor entrance floor. So what you've got, as you can see, um, is mostly a solid floor. I have a patch of mesh at the back for ventilation. I'm experimenting with different sizes of this. Um, I def that, this is about as big as I'd ever go. Um, and I'm happy with about half this size of mesh. Um, then you've got at the front here, this big open space and the bees um, fly in here at the front and then they have to come up into the hive through this slit. Um, and also it's, uh, it's treated wood in the main and then I'm gonna um, varnish it anyway. And because my hives are Langstroth hives, I have this rim around the edge. Um, because otherwise the frames would be actually pressing on the floor. If you've got um, bottom bee space like a national hive, then you wouldn't need the rim. Um, so the reason that I had chose this type of floor, um, as I say, partly so I wanted something to do. Um, partly um, it's because of wasps, which obviously aren't a problem for most of the year, but um, around about September, October time, they're, for me, they're pretty bad. And apparently, and I, I, I can't say I, 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 I've approved this for sure, but I'm told, and, and it seems to be true, that the, uh, the action of actually flying into a tunnel, so it's kind of like a dark um, tunnel, and they have to go in here and then up through this crack, and it's, I think this is probably quite easy for the bees to line up here and defend. Um, apparently it puts, puts wasps off, um, but nevertheless, um, it's not that difficult to either put something on the edges here to close down the entrance. Um, it's quite easy just to stuff some foam or, or bang some plywood across the whole front if you're moving the bees. Um, but you, or you could just leave a crack and then that's an easy way to shut down if, if wasps are really hammering the place. The other thing is, of course, that slit that the bees are coming in through here, um, it's not very wide, it's about um, eight, nine, ten millimetres wide, probably, probably ten millimetres wide in my case. Um, to be honest, I don't actually measure it, I just I just have a look and say, can a bee get, get in here? Looks about right. Um, and I haven't um, had any problems so far. But um, uh, I think it makes it quite difficult for the mice to get in. So no need for um, mouse guards. Um, I hardly ever get mice, but I have had it. I have had, um, with a hive close to the ground, um, I, I've had a mouse in there and it's uh, killed the colony. I mean, it makes such a mess that you end up killing the colony. Um, so there we have it, uh, something to do for winter. Um, I might try and show you how, how I do it, but 
Um, if you want to follow a proper woodworker, don't follow me. <laughs> but uh, it's a um, it's a good project for winter, and, and I I think I think the, the key to this is the mesh. I've tried um, full mesh floors and that's very popular in the UK um, and I found it may, it may just be that I was in a drafty area or something but I found that um, the brood they didn't build brood down to the floor they, they started the brood maybe kind of like three or four inches up the frame um, and it took a bit longer for them to get going in the spring Whereas with solid floors, I found they build brood right down to the floor, and they were quick to get going. So, to me, uh, that was—I mean, you can if you've got mesh floors, you can put the there's a drawer that you can slide in to block off the mesh, and many people do that for the winter. Some people would say that you actually need more ventilation in winter than summer because um, in our climate, summer's not particularly hot, whereas in the winter when they're well, as, as they get to sort of January, February time and they start eating their honey, um, their stored honey or syrup, and they're throwing off a lot of moisture, and um, it's probably at that time that ventilation becomes more important. You don't, you don't really want a lot of dampness on the sides of your hive, and, and you can tell when you check your hives in the spring if the, if the floor is just disgusting and slimy and wet and full of just mouldy dead bees it's um it's not pretty and i don't think it can be particularly healthy for the bees so so you know sure you, you do need some ventilation um it's just getting the balance um and some people um, have top ventilation um many people in the uk frown on that i i, I don't know i i i I'm up for trying all sorts of things um, and just and just prove for myself what works for me. But it's very difficult. I mean, I've got 40 odd hives. Um, it's not exactly a huge sample size, um, but you know, playing around. I, I, I think that the, uh, the sweet spot is a patch of mesh. And I've seen a really old hive I saw um, in Ireland um, went to visit an old castle uh, with Mike Palmer actually um, and they had a really old hive that was over a hundred years old and it had a small patch about so big what would you say about three inches square of meshing in the floor um, and I wonder if that's you know I think possibly that may be a little large I think about half that might be might be good but they, they'll need some ventilation for sure um, and I just think a whole floor of ventilation might be pushing it a bit for, for my bees in my area. Um, the thing is really solid, it's going to last for ages and it's something to do in the winter so keeps me out of mischief. <laughs>